so I posted a video recently of an office tour and that video is right over here um, but my wife told me she's like you glossed over a few important things I think you need to go back so that's what this video is it's a follow-up on the office tour so let's get started so I found this name tag in a drawer uh, yesterday and I thought I need to talk about that back in the day my first year here at FCC I went as Sean from Shaun of the Dead, and as soon as I walked into class, all my students were yelling at me, Sean, Sean's here! And they kept yelling and saying things like, you've got red on you, and it's true, I did. I also did Hellboy one year as a Halloween costume, as you can see. That was a lot of fun, but a lot of work. This is from a mountain bike trip out to Durango, Colorado, and we're on the Colorado Trail, and there I am in full beardness with Emily on the right, Star on the left, and Uncle Frank with us too. This is also the day that Emily crashed her bike and I happened to have a video camera on, which made it kind of awesome. So I don't remember what birthday party this was, but this was the year of the R2-D2 cake and it was a big hit amongst kids and adults. We didn't make the cake, we had, it, we had a local lady that we knew make it and she just hit a home run on this thing. The thing I remember most about this cake was the kids devoured the body of R2-D2. We took the head home and wrapped it in foil and kept it in our fridge and then our freezer for a very long time um, until we finally said, you know, it's been three or four years. We should probably either eat this thing or throw it away. And uh, we eventually threw it away, but for a long time it felt like we were some kind of, you know, weird empire family that had something against the rebellion. But truth is, we're a rebellion family. This is a little bit of awesome that my father-in-law made many years ago, um, not long after he retired. Um, it's a stained glass star, and I love it for its design and how it looks when it shines off the light some days, so that's why it's here. This is a note from a former colleague named Betty. She was my department chair and one of my very first mentors here at the college, and I miss her every day because she was all kinds of awesome, and when she left, Afterwards, she sent me this note, and I keep it by my door. Uh, I do so because some days aren't the best days, and when I'm not having a great day, I look at the note and think, yeah, I can do this. I can go out and support people and do the, the foundation work that's important for students every day. So that's why it's here, and I'll keep it here.